You gotta have injury. This was from 2019. Couldn't catch injury. She was all over the place doing stuff. And Andrina called me. She's not volunteer. I said, okay, you gonna volunteer. She said, I'm gonna go. no, you gonna be the campaign manager. She said, no, I can't do that. I said, I need someone I could trust. I said, I need someone I could trust and that could be consistent and know the area. She was from sanitation worker up to the deputy chief of sanitation as a black woman. I know that was hard. So if you had that plight, I knew that we could stand together. Especially when she come home and was like, I want to volunteer. And that's music to the ambassador's ears too. <laughs> Just want to thank every, my team. I want to get so many people here to thank. So I'm going to say in advance, because I'm going to say the speech, but Pastor, what did he say? Charge it to my mind and not my heart. When you up here in the hot seat, it's a lot that you forget, but I'm going to try my best to do my best. Yes, so thank you for being my dedication and vision for District 58. Thank you to all the unions, thank you for all the, the union members, which is our community members who was keeping us alive during the pandemic. Thank you to, I'm going to do all the things you last, but I am a child of the district. I walk these streets on my way to and from public school, from elementary to high school. Born and raised right here in this district. In junior high school, I met my amazing husband, Eric Waterman, and today we have four amazing children that you see here. I'm a 20-year-old, a 19-year-old, a 16-year-old, and a 14-year-old. Oh my God. Yes, and we all, yes, and we intended. So I always say, is everybody hate when I say this, but I went to PS135. My mama went to PS135. My four children graduated from PS135. I went back and taught at PS135. Then I created 110 free slots for after school for kids at PS135 when we're standing today. You want somebody that's been in the community, continue being in the community, understand the needs of the community, and I am definitely that person. I made this decision because of my village. My mother had to work three and four and five jobs. And she's not the Jamaican side of it. And she's working all those jobs. And my, I was put inside the village of my grandparents, my aunts, my uncles. My teacher took me to church. My neighbor woke me to school. My pastor brought me clothes the first day of school. My pastor also took me, took me to Great Adventures. So, Pastor, you gotta take me to Great Adventures. So I got me clothes. The first day of school, you gotta buy me clothes. <laughs> This is the community that poured into me and made me who I am today. That's why I ran for office to give back to the community who made me who I am. Jamani so said, you don't have to leave the community to, to make it a better one. You can stay right here and build your community. Everybody has issues. Everybody has struggles. But when I brought my four kids into this world, they didn't ask to be here. So when I had my daughter, I, everything looked different. The streets looked dirtier, the school, nothing was adequate enough. And I said, you know what, my kids are not gonna go through the struggles that I went through. That's why I started the 24 hour daycare program. Then I started the nonprofit organization. Because I figure, if I help make the whole community safe, guess what? My kids will be safe. Yeah. Because your kids don't stay in your house, they have to go outside your house. And as we know, bullets have no names, crimes have no names. There's a lot of issues that's going on. So if you create the safe community, the safe hallway, like my brother created for me, where he was told that he had to watch me and make sure I was safe at my level because my mother. So we created that for the whole community. And there's no judgment. You never know what someone is going through. Anytime I see a child on the street, you don't know why they out there, you don't know what's going on, you can't judge. I make sure I'm, I'm the community mother, you're the community daughter. You gotta take, we gotta take hold of all of our kids. And if you don't do something or say something or help, you're part of the problem, not just the parents. Everybody here, this is a village. I went way off script, so I'm gonna miss a whole bunch of stuff. So I saw and continue to see today hardworking people struggling to buy